All right, folks, a lot of these videos are bleeding together. Um, I just got back from Lynchburg from an on-site. Um, I got a bunch of packages that were just delivered. So I've been home for about 20 minutes, now heading back to Signs and Wonders to do finish up this install. Um, pretty much, we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I think the main thing is I got a new rack mount for all that stuff that we're going to hang got the TV stands um, that Pastor Taylor was asking about. I'm waiting for a transaction to go through so we can buy the new toy that I was um, I haven't told you about but I know y'all will be excited about once we get it and I'm waiting for this person to back up but um but yeah I think the main thing is starting to get the media booth set up. <clears throat> because uh, we did all the wiring and stuff like that main thing like we said we're just i think i got my two for you shelves i'm gonna replace the one that's in the networking closet so it's an um that's what i should have brought that other thing back there but um anyway got enough room for that then we got another for you shelf that's gonna hold all of the gear that's gonna be in the media booth where we put those wires and I'm running out of space to put in my car. But um, that's the main thing. But anyway, let me load up the car and uh, get over the signs and wonders. All right, so what I'm doing right now is Pastor Taylor wanted to have a mobile TV. We hung up a TV originally at their old church, which still needs to be repurposed. So we're going to put it on this mobile stand so that during the, when they, that was interesting. And I was talking about that I was here putting together this TV stand and then Pastor Taylor called me. But um, we had an original TV that we put at the sanctuary, the old building, and it needs to be repurposed. So we're going to put this on this mobile stand that be, can, can be used for different functions. But during the inaugural launch, we're going to have a fiber HDMI cable here so that the TV can roll over there. And when seats are set up, they can see there. Um, but based on some other things that's going to be happening in the future. I think this may be overkill, but hey, this is what they wanted, so that's what we're going to do. So let me put this together, and then we're going to work on our next project here. All right, TV stand done. It's going to be mounted over there somewhere. Um, so thankfully, this will be temporary, but I do need to ask if this is going to be kind of like a permanent thing. Then ultimately, we would think about maybe putting a jack or something like there, but... But right now, this will just sit right here until we get the TV. All right, folks, I thought I didn't have enough space, but I did. So I moved the shelf here. That's where the HDMI splitter is. So that extra rack is gonna get repurposed for something else. So I took that down, that's not needed. I moved over some of the cables, I'm gonna come back and then um, probably I got to disconnect everything and I'm gonna run everything down that side to get rid of that um, put something here might have the extra PVC pipe I have might put everything in there but this part is done Pastor Taylor and Michael just left so I am shutting down everything and getting ready to lock up I need to find my electrical tape because I put the mount for the other HDMI splitter in the sanctuary up, but I need to tape it to protect it from what they're doing. I took everything down, so like I said, so I wouldn't be in the way, but I need to find some tape so that I can put a bag around everything. I guess we can unplug that because that's not needed. Um, let's go down this way. Get into some light real quick. I might have to go if it's not in one of my bags up here. But let me show you what we got while we're shutting everything down.
All right, so we got the SDI cable that's outside. This is the other one that I fished from upstairs, which is coming over here that is terminated. I hung this rack. That's where the HDMI splitter is going to be up and out of the way so that nobody needs to do anything with it. I'm also having a um, conditioner plugged in up there so that all of the S HDMI to SDI converter is plugged in there as well as the HDMI splitter. Then that would give some other power right here. That cable is going to run down against the wall and plug in here if need be. But I'm going to get a bag to protect all the ends of those cables. And that's what I'm looking for. And then we're going to be done. So now that everything is done, I can tell y'all what the surprise is to what we're going to be doing. This wall, similar to what we talked about in my What If episode, we're putting a digital wall right here. So be on the lookout for them. I'll tag the company I'm working with for the screen. It is LED, LED Nation out of Florida. Um, so once everything is there, we're going to be putting a 9 by 9.8 eight foot wide um, TV wall and 6.6 .6 feet tall digital wall right there. So that's what we're excited about. Um, bring y'all along with that. We're gonna do a complete deep dive on everything associated with that because I know a bunch of y'all are interested in that and so am I. This is my very first digital wall and a lot of ministries, when I told them they are they, they have their ears and attention because first off, this digital wall is very, very, very affordable. Um, so that's why everybody is really interested in this. Um, but then, you know, based off of that, we'll see where it goes. So here's the bag I'm gonna use to protect those cables. I need to find some tape. I'm sure they got some tape around here somewhere. But that's about it, folks. So be on the lookout for all of that stuff. I'm probably going to do that breakout video as something completely separate. Um, but I will tag it a part of this whole project as well. So again, you know, so many big thank yous here for Signs and Wonders. Really appreciate um, just the opportunity and the fact that they trust me with this stuff. So really excited. I am going to be here on their first service, training them and everything like that. So... I'm really excited. My arm was getting tired. But anyway, <laughs> let me get this stuff back in the car, find some tape, seal that up, shut everything down, lock up, and then we'll see y'all tomorrow on the Q&A, which is probably going to be today. So anyway, <laughs> we'll catch y'all later, folks. Bye.